Bob Zagami here with Rolling On TV, and we're in Elkhart, Indiana this week at the Big Dealer Open House, and I'm with Tom Dempsey, the president and the design director of Sylvan Sport, a tremendous multifunctional vehicle, an RV for the camping population. For uh, Tom, how do you describe it? You designed it. Uh, take a look at this uh, functional value that you put into this coach. Well, sure, Bob. Thank you. Uh, at Sylvan Sport, we set out to reinvent the RV and really take it out of the RV world and put it into the REI world, I like to say succinctly. So we made a, an entry-level premium camper for the outdoor adventure. You know what I find very interesting with it, and I followed your progress over the last few years, this brings people into our industry that were never there before. You know, we, we always like to talk about the RVers and they, they buy more RVs, and they buy t 10 trailers, and then they go to motorhomes. But this is really designed, I think, for those 33 or 35 million tent campers that are out there that want to move up any, maybe into an RV, but this gives them a, step, a nice stepping stone to come into our industry that will then later on maybe get them into a trailer or a motorhome, but it gets them off the ground. It's really easy to set up. It's affordable. Am I right on, and you know, where you're picking that? Yeah, that's right. Uh, our typical customer kind of falls into two camps. The, uh, what I call the maturing adventurer that wants to step it up, as you said, off the ground and bring along all their kayaks and bicycles and boats and whatnot and uh, sleep off the ground in comfort. It also appeals to the folks that want to simplify. So we actually have a good group of buyers that uh, have owned a conventional RV and they want to actually downsize and have a little more uh, multifunctional vehicle that's a little simpler in terms of ownership and maintenance and whatnot. And so we're enjoying both of those customer groups. Well, it's very interesting. And one of the other things that I really love about your company is you make everything that's on this product and you make it in America. This is a true made in America product for RV enthusiasts and for outdoor enthusiasts. It is. You know, not only do we make it in America, but we really try to make it locally. Uh, about 80% of the cost of a Sylvan Sport Go is made within a 100-mile radius of Brevard, North Carolina. So uh, if we don't make it in our factory, it's made generally fairly nearby. Okay, now when you look at the unit, it's a tall unit. You're a tall guy. Tell us how that came about. Well, as an industrial designer, you know, I'm used to the world being designed for the 5th to 95th percentile. And I just happen to be about 99.9 .9 percentile, as I recall, in terms of height. So I was being a little bit selfish when, uh, when first creating the Go and making it accommodate me not only laying down in the beds, but also standing up inside. So for a compact unit, it opens up into a big space. How about weight-wise and tow? We always, you know, all the RV manufacturers now want to make lightweight units that are towed by smaller cars and SUVs and half-ton pickups. I suspect maybe anything could tow this. You bet. Just about any vehicle can tow the Sylvan Sport Go. It weighs 840 pounds. It can carry another 800 pounds of cargo on the deck, 200 pounds on the roof racks. So it's a very compact, lightweight, you know, well-engineered piece of gear. Uh, that we have, we have folks that tow it, as I said, with even hybrids. Well, now I'm not a motorcycle guy, but could you tow it with a motorcycle? Well, the Go is a little large dimensionally for a motorcycle, but we also make the Sylvan Sport Go Easy, which is a 274 pound trailer, which is motorcycle towable. That's amazing. Exciting. Now, what, when you get to the campsite or you know, you're by the lake or in the mountains, what does it take to set something like this up? From completely closed, rolling in in your vehicle to set up in comfort with a king size and a half bed is uh, eight to ten minutes. Total. Total time. And then you're out fishing, or you're on the bike, and you're up in the mountains. Then you're lighting your campfire or uh, getting dinner going. Yep, indeed. Do you, do you, you know, it, it is such a new thing. Do you find that you have actually groups of people that go out together because they like the outdoor lifestyle? And this is true of millennials. You know, they, they want their mashups and they want to get the, they get together at a moment's notice. They'll send a text to somebody and say, I'm going to the mountains this weekend. Do you see 10 of them going out with these and, and having a good time? We're definitely seeing growing numbers. Uh, we have a great uh, owners group online right now. So, and uh, it's, it's, you know, adding members every single day and adding events and stories and that sort of thing. And certainly with more and more Sylvan Sport Goes out in the field, more and more Sylvan Sport Go owners are camping in groups out there. And 
And we actually are going to be encouraging that through having a, uh, an owner's rally down in the, uh, the mountains of North Carolina coming up soon. So. How about the materials, the canvas materials, the tenting? and it, It's all inside there. That's what I find amazing when you look at it and then all of a sudden it pops out and you've got this beautiful camper. What about the materials? Well, you're, you're right. People are most amazed when we tell them there's a king size and a half bed and all the shelter in this little thin silver pod here. So. Uh, when you open it up, canvas is a little bit of an old-fashioned word because we use a 220 denier polyurethane uh, coated ripstop polyester. So it's the finest material uh, available. It's super heavy duty, um, and it's made in a factory where we, you know, some of the world's best, most demanding tents for applications like conquering Everest are made. So. It also uses uh, DAC poles, which are high-grade aluminum poles made for quick deployment and again, super strength and durability in the toughest conditions. So the Sylvan Sport Go is pretty lightweight. What's nice is you really can roll it around by hand to get it in a nice position for camp. And when you're in position, it uh, cranks up. And Earl is going to show you how uh, you can raise the go up. We're going to convert it into the mode from compact travel to how you would uh, carry an ATV or a motorcycle or lots of bicycles or whatever cargo you might have. So you'd raise it up about this high, secure the side panels. At this, at this point, you can load if you have a uh, a large vehicle or something like that. It might be an, an ATV or a couple of dirt bikes uh, or even a large Harley. And what's nice is there's a pin that pulls up front. This step can be removed and you can tilt this and you can drive your ATV or motorcycles right up onto the deck What's really cool is there's a hydraulic damper that prevents this thing from slamming down. So as I go up over center with my heavy ATV or my motorcycles and the weight begins to shift, it does a nice controlled drop. Once I've got things loaded, we can lower the top back down onto these pins. She's ready to roll. Now we'll be going into uh, camper mode on the uh, Go Camper, and uh, I'm gonna have my assistant here, Kyle Munt, to help me out here. Pretty easy to uh, actually to assemble the unit to go into camper mode. There's a, a keyway on the top of the uh, bed pole. You actually just put that in and oh, yeah, oh. give it a quick turn. Give it a quick turn here. And then you want to bring out. You actually want to do the same thing on this end. You want to turn it and lock it in place. And you want to do the same thing on this end, lock it in place. And now you have the uh, the bed panels. The cool thing about the bed panels is that you actually you can uh, 500 pounds of weight can actually lay on this particular bed on each side. And also the beds will actually go into a full size bed as well as a king size bed. So the next step when you're actually going into camper mode, next thing you want to do is uh, pull down your license plate holder, which is also your step. And then, which is the magical moment within the go camper, we always call it the abracadabra. You come up here, you pull the lever, and now you have the unit goes into camper mode. All the bedding, all the panels, everything that you need to be to make this unit a total camper is located inside this gray pod. I know it sounds pretty unbelievable, but at the end of the day, that's exactly what this unit does. You walk around, you grab the end of the, uh, the size of the pod here, you lower it down, and then you actually give it a nudge to give it a, some brace in there. Once you do that, you start to attach the camper part to the unit here, very easy to do. As you can see, if there's a, uh, any of there, you see hooks, 
You can actually, uh, it shows you where to hook the cables. Do the same thing here. And also on the other side. Next thing you do is, you wanna go into your uh, total camper mode, just like you would do in any other tent. What I love about this is, it gives you an opportunity not only to be off the ground with the gold camper, but just thread the unit, just like you're threading just a regular tent. Take your time here, it's a really doable tent. And then, put it in the grommet, and you wanna push straight up in the air to give you the total go tent feel. And we do the same thing on the other side. As you can see, it makes it really easy. And as you push straight up, you actually put the end of the tent pole in this grommet. It's really easy to give you a sturdy tent there. And the last step for the camper, you actually want to uh, make the door for the unit. What's really cool, what we've done to show you how easy it is to, uh, to assemble the door, as you can see, we have the orange uh, casing here to let you know that where that actually goes gives our customers an easier way to find the pocket it actually goes and allows you to assemble the door. So as we finish up getting the door in place for the Go Camper, then we step up in our step, we walk inside, and we actually say bye-bye, get ready for the uh, Go Camper to close the door. And now I'm going to show you some of the great features of the interior of the Go. So what we've tried to create here with the Go is the best tent camping experience you could ever have. We've uh, kept all the good features and designed out all the bad features. So you're 13 inches off the ground, you're perfectly level, perfectly stable. You have six different possible configurations on the inside. You have all the headroom you can imagine at six foot five. You have beds that are on nearly seven feet. You can make it out into a king and a half size bed, it looks like this. I'd like to show you some of the details. We have two panels, and they allow you to have a table set up so you can enjoy a meal all day long. You can keep it set up like this. At night, you bring the other panel down, which stores up here, and you drop it down into the gap. It includes four air mattresses. These are beautiful, thick, comfortable, self-inflating air mattresses. They go across, and they make it into one big king and a half size bed. We have all kinds of storage options. We have a, a unit that hangs on the uh, back wall here. You can see it behind the TV. We have one that goes up here, a gear loft. We have pockets. We have all kinds of space down below. With this panel, you can put one across the beds here and give you a two-tier shelving system. We partnered with Goal Zero and created a fantastic solar kit so you can have an off-the-grid power solution for your entire trip. This unit travels in the front storage box and charges while you're traveling. You bring it inside and plug in phones, devices, even laptops, DVD players. Um, it's a perfect solution when you don't have an AC outlet at a campground. Mm -hmm.